I want to tell you guys a little story today. So you know those things that happen sometimes they're out of your control and you end up having to pay the price, sometimes literally, for other people's actions. It's not my favorite part of humanity, but it's a reality that happens sometimes. So long story short, a guy sideswiped my car in the parking lot the other day and decided he didn't need to take accountability for that. So he just left. So now I'm left with the damage on my car that I have to repair. And I had some feels about it in the moment. I was frustrated, I was a little angry, really, really disappointed in humans. And so, you know, came home and kind of went, worked through that. And then I realized that this is the thing, right? That person doesn't excuse anything that they did. Actions are not excused, not cool, man. And I stopped and I realized that ultimately I'm the one that gets to decide what I do with this energy. And I can stay in the energy of anger and frustration and irritation and all this stuff. And I can rant and rave about it. And don't get me wrong. I had my moment to rant and rave. Get it out of your system. And then I went, what does this person actually need to do something like that and not to take accountability for their actions? They're in a lot of pain. Doesn't excuse it, but they're obviously in a lot of pain. There's a lot of stuff that's not going well in their life. It's probably their fault, but it is what it is. And so I stopped and I went, hey, person who hit my car today, you must be in a lot of pain. You must be going through a lot not to take accountability for your actions. And so I just want you to know I'm sending you love right now. And I really did. And I really, really did intend for this person to receive love energetically because that's what they need right now. And that's a better place for me to be in too, so that I'm not spending my energy being frustrated, annoyed, pissed off, and all the things beyond clearing out that initial impulse when it happens. So I wanted to share that because it's a very real example and it's a very real opportunity to stop and catch ourselves. Again, like I said, let yourself have the initial feels about it. No one is saying positivity bypass, that's bullshit, right? This is about letting yourself have the feels and then clear them out and go, okay, this thing happened. I worked through my feelings about it. Now what? What does this person need? And energetically, what do I do to balance this out? And that's what you do. So that's my tip for you today. And now I'm going to go call some body shops because I got to go fix my car. Sparkling.